Peace of Christ to all. Uh, today we will speak about uh, one of the phobia Muslims they are uh, ill with it, with it and we have the cure for that, no problem. Uh, you know, if you go and watch on YouTube, you will see a lot of videos made against uh, Jesus being the Son of God. Like as an example here, you will see uh, Brother Dekar Naik, which is very funny. Uh, he have someone, he claimed to be Christian, asking question, but yes, the Christian, he said, Jesus, a peace upon him. You know, the Muslims, if you want to make, uh, if you want to make a movie, like, uh, uh, get a good director. Someone who is a Christian, he will never say, Jesus, peace upon him. And then the Christian guy, Zakir Naik, asked him, do you believe that Muhammad is the last prophet? He said, yes. I never heard of a Christian who do that. And then at the end of the, the conversation, the Christian guy convert to Islam. A very amazing story. However, if you, if you watch this video, you will see that the logic of Muslims is very stupid. In this video, Zakir Naik say, that we Christians believe that Jesus is the Son of God because the Bible says uh, Jesus is uh, the Son of no man. Is that really what, what, what the reason? If you, if you watch the, the video here with me, you will find the following. No, no, no! Jesus Christ, peace by no normal son! And he quotes the Gospel of John, chapter number 3, verse number 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, whosoever believeth in him shall not die but have everlasting life. Correct, bro? So do you believe Jesus is the begotten Son of God? Mm -hmm. You believe, fine. Now this verse which I quoted, Gospel of John, chapter number 3, verse number 16, it's from King James Version. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, whosoever believeth in him shall not die but have everlasting life. Now when you read the Revised Standard Version of the Bible, revised by Thaidu scholars, Christian scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different cooperating Christian denominations, they say that this word begotten is an interpolation, it's a fabrication, it's a concoction, it's an adulteration. Who's saying? Not Muslims, not Hindus, Thaidu Christian scholars of the highest eminence in the revised standard version of the Bible, they say... Let me expose this liar just to show you that you should not ever trust a Muslim saying something to you or quoting something to you. This is John chapter 3 from the... Uh, the, uh, the, the standard, uh, reverse standard version, the one he is quoting. This is what he said. It is made by the highest whatever, whatever, whatever. And he's saying there is no such a thing exists in the Bible. There is no such a thing in chapter 3, verse number 16 about the only begotten son. If we go there, we will find the following. Read with me. This is the Bible in front of you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. This liar, he said, that in this Bible, there is no such a thing. He said that this is a fabrication and Christian scholars and translators agree it's not exist. And he's saying in this version, it's not exist. It's in the front of you. It says clearly, he gave his only son, his only son. So if a Muslim quote for you a verse from the Bible, don't take his words. I can show you many videos, this guy, he is even quoting his Quran wrongly. You see, he tried to impress people by memory, but the fact he, he have no memory, he, he have a very stupid memory. He quote things wrongly, he quote even the Quran wrongly, he gave wrong verses, he gave wrong words, and he have a fabrication of claims. Like once uh, a woman, she asked him, uh, why Allah he give a, a promise for men to have sex with uh, with women but there is no promise for women he said the word hur in the Quran is not about male or female when the Quran says clearly that this is about male why because it says they never bleed they never have their period so it's a fabrication a stupid answer and he claimed yet to be scholar so now we prove that this is a very false fabrication and very stupid thing but before we move here uh, forget about uh, uh, this Zakir Naik and his lies. Why we Christians believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Before we go there, I want to show you first a very stupid mistake in the Quran so we can understand why the Muslims reject Jesus to be called the Son of God. Is that because really they believe in one God? Or because they have no idea what the Christians even believe in? Let us go to the Quran and read some verses. If you go to chapter 5, verse number 73, you will see the following. 
the one who wrote the Quran, the fabricator, saying that the Christians they say, or the one who say, which is the Christian supposedly, as you see, is talking, talking about the Trinity. Those who say that Allah is a third of a three in Trinity, they are kuffar. They are doing blasphemy against God. All right. So, لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ ثَالِثُ ثَلَاثَةً so, so those who say that Allah is thalithu thalatha, or uh, the, the third of three, they are kuffar. So obviously, Trinity in Islam is what? Is you saying that Allah is one of three. But you know, we Christians, first, we don't believe in Allah. Number two, if we change the name of Allah just for the sake of argument with the word of uh, Jehovah or Elohim just for the sake of argument we don't believe that Elohim is a third of a three <coughs> that is a not this is not what the Trinity is we don't you will not find one verse in the Bible making such a statement Trinity for Christians that God he present himself in a three person but we don't have three gods and Elohim is not one of a three God is one we don't have a three gods and none of us believe in three gods and none of us believe that God is one of a three which is going to be very funny because all the Bible is saying clearly that you worship your God alone. Just make a simple search in the Bible and you will see how amazing the number of how many times the word or worship of God alone appear in the Bible. It's clear, it's all over, it's everywhere. You, God alone is worthy of worship. He is alone is worthy of worship. The worship of God the Father. So, not gods. So, you know, when the Christian they say God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit, are, are, they, are they three? Three are oh, like three, three gods, God, God? No. It's the same as you say that water the ice, water the steam, water the liquid. But the three are one. It's about just temperature, but it's not about, uh, you know, equality. Water the liquid, it's the same as water the steam, it's the same as water the ice. But each one of them look differently, appear differently. If Muslims they want to say that God cannot do that, well don't don't then call him God the Almighty because God the Almighty is the one who can do everything. If you say God cannot be, well he cannot be God then because God, the word can and cannot is not exist in his dictionary. This is the Almighty who he can, he can, yes he can, he can do whatever he want. Otherwise why you call him God? So simply the stupid one who wrote the Quran, he have a very wrong understanding of Christianity. He think that we believe that God is one of three, our God is one of three, which is false. And this is not the Trinity, the one we believe in. But the disaster don't stop here. If you go in the same chapter, chapter 5, verse number 17, you will see that the Quran saying, that the Christians believe that Allah is Christ. Look at this confusion now. A second ago, in this verse here, Allah is one of the three. In this verse here, Allah is Christ. So, do the Christian believe that Allah is a third, or the Christian believe that Allah is a Christ? And don't tell me there is a stupid thing here, it's not happening, it's obviously there's something very bad there. Because when you say Allah is a third, it's mean you are saying to me, because the, the Quran, by the way, state that Mary 
and Jesus and Allah are the three. This is what the Christians believe. That's why you will see that uh, he is saying if, if, if Allah want to destroy Mary and, her, and, and Jesus, he can destroy them. That's why he mentioned Mary always in the story of Trinity. Because he think, or the one who wrote the Quran, he think the Christians believe that Mary is part of a Trinity. But now there's a big, big problem and there's a contradiction. Because if Jesus Christ, if the Christian believe that Allah is the Christ, that means there's no Trinity. In the way Allah he was saying in the verse before. Why? Because in the verse before, Trinity is Allah is one of the three. Not Allah is the Christ. Are you getting my point? So obviously the one who made the Quran is a stupid Abdul. He have no idea what he is talking about. Once he, th he said that Allah is one of the three, this is what Trinity is about. And then once he said that Trinity is about Allah is Christ. Because Allah is Christ, it means the Christians believe in one God. Because they are not saying this second and third, they are saying, here we go. They are saying, Allah is the Christ, obviously. And that means that there is no second, there is no third, there is no etc. Allah is the Christ. <coughs> and this is what it says here in Arabic. لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْمَسِيحُ Ibn Maryam. They commit blasphemy, those who say that Allah is the Messiah, the son of Mary. So what I'm trying to say to you here that the one who wrote the Quran cannot be God because simply if he cannot, if this God cannot even understand what we believe in, how he can be God? If this God, once he said Trinity, that Allah is one of three, and then the second verse says that Trinity is Allah is the Christ. That is a very huge contradiction because they don't match together. This is why we see in chapter 6 verse 101, the one who wrote the Quran saying, how Allah can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? So obviously the stupid writer of the Quran, he thinks the Christian believe that God get, ma get married from Mary, and from Mary he have a son, his name is the Messiah. But yet still this is a contradiction for this verse here in chapter 5 verse number 17, where it says that the Christian believe that Allah is the Christ. Because here there is no trinity the way Allah has explained it in chapter 5 verse number 73. Because in here Trinity is Allah is one or he is a third, not Allah is the Christ. However, we Christians, we don't believe that Jesus is Son of God because somebody called him Son of God. Absolutely not. The Abdul and their prophet, they are professional idiots. They have no education and let us do some education. In the beginning it was the word, this is John chapter 1, and the word was with God and the word was God. So what was the beginning? The beginning of everything, every creation, is the Word of God. But yet, who is the Word of God? Is God. But who is the Word of God for us who came to the earth? That is Jesus. And the Word of God became a flesh. So Muslims, you will see here that the Word of God is called Son of God because He is the Word of God, not because He is a Son of Mary without a father. So stop stu saying stupid things. We Christians, we believe that Jesus is Son of God because He has no Father. <laughs> no. This is not the reason, Abdul. Whoever said that to you is a stupid fool, like your prophet. If you go to the letter of Paul to the Colossians, uh, letter number 1, or uh, chapter 1, you will see, it says here in verse number 16, For by Him were all things created, that are in heaven, and that on earth, visible and invisible. Jesus simply, in verse number 15, He is the invisible image of God. And the Quran says that Jesus is the Word of God too. So the Word of God is the Son of God. Because the Word of God is born from who? Is born from God, not born from Mary. Jesus is exists before Mary. Jesus, He said, before Abraham I am. So Muslims, fix your information, educate yourself before you speak about Christian and Christianity. Shame on you, Muhammad, to mislead a nation of a blind people and you claim you are the one who can see. Christ is Lord. Islam.